Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. I'm Tessa Smith with mamasgeeky.com. Thank you both so much for taking the time today. Love the show. Season two, absolutely loved it. it was when it ended, I was like, no, I need to know what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> but uh, so without spoilers, can you just let the fans know what to expect for your characters in season two? And Kevin, if you want to go first. Um, I would say that Luke, you kind of get this uh, like growth aspect of like a little bit more of a deepening and uh, to a degree, a relative deg degree, as much as Luke can deepen. Um, but you learn a little bit about his backstory, how he got there, who he was before, uh, his uh, history in the army, as well as he has a suspicion that um, that perhaps he is being spied on. And as we know from season one, that is very much true. So that has kind of exponentially uh, may or may not have gotten worse and it might involve the company. So there's some interesting uh, facets of Luke becoming uh, very paranoid, which was some of my favorite stuff to play. And he's also very much involved uh, in, in Nathan's pursuit of Nora and where she is. And so he kind of lends a, a helpful hand or as much as Luke can be helpful um, to, that, to that quest. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> now you go. <laughs> um, uh, you know, Alicia, Alicia changes a lot in, in season two. Uh, you know, when we start off, there's there's a lot more responsibility um, that, she, she, that she has to take on because of, uh, you know, nor, you know, what Nora is doing. Um, and then with that comes like opportunity. You know, and there's this question, like if the opportunity is truly the opportunity and then she has to like make this this choice all while dealing with the antics of Luke, all while, you know, trying to like, you know, you know, uh, stay away from Lucy. All you know, like there's still those same like season one antics, but then this like complicated addition that comes with her growth. Uh, that, that's really interesting and that I hope that, you know, people who watch season two kind of enjoy enjoy that ride, that new ride. <laughs> well, I love your characters together. Like one of my favorite lines of this entire season is the whole angel hair pasta thing. Like I was <laughs> cracking up. I love that because we do that yeah, stuff in our go. house all the time. We like start to say something else and then just, you know, so I love that part. Um, I'd love to know how much of the show in general, but specifically your relationships together, how much can you use improv and how much is on the paper? We don't do too much because the scripts are so meticulously written and as well as there's so much information that's like needs that's so necessary. However, I did notice that quite a bit of improv made it into, um, into this season more so than I think first season, usually at the ends of scenes. Um, specifically just little buttons that people would introduce or, or, or do. And sometimes I feel like, I think that there's always been this kind of mystique around improv and things that, that like it, it's super helpful or something, but a lot of times it can just detract from like the meticulous craft of like getting the jokes right. But if it doesn't fly on set, we can change stuff, but the improvisation at the ends of scenes, it kind of, when you find something that's new, it gives like a little booster of energy to get to the next scene. And I feel like there's a few times, I can think of a few times where Zainab's done it too, where like a, it's very, very much made me laugh, but it's a, it does give you like a nice little spark of energy because it can kind of get a little, a little wooden when you're just doing the same lines over and over and over again. You know what too, like there's, I think that a lot of times when people think about improv, especially in like comedy, you always think about the lines that are said, right? You think about the words, but I realized in the second season, we did a lot of like improvising with physicality. Like, <laughs> you know, and that what I remember one day on set, I just, I followed an instinct and I did something, right, Kevin? I already know. <laughs> I, I don't right. want to spoil it. I don't want to, I don't want to tell the episode, but I did something. And then the director, she was like, I love it. Let's do that. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was just playing. I was just, yeah. I was just, I was, it was a late night. I was just infusing some energy into uh -huh. the night. And uh -huh. then she was like, no, that's, that's what we're going with. And Doing I'm like, that. yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. And Kevin was just like, 
See, that's what <laughs> I was like, you did it. Now that's it. Now that's what's making it into the show. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, they're telling me to wrap, but thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Like I said, loved this, this season and we need more. Like, oh, awesome. thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much to all of my monetary supporters, my members here on YouTube, as well as my patrons. If you haven't joined yet, please consider doing so. We have some really awesome perks, including a monthly Zoom meeting where we get to talk face to face. Thank you again to everyone who supports me.